Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a Okitel portable power station. Let's get this thing out of the box so we can see what we're dealing with. Okay, we got it out of the box. Okay, let's take a closer look, all right? I love the fact that these are all covered right here. Keep the dust out. First you have your cigarette lighter style plug, 10 amps. Over here you have your T60, this is 10 amp. Barrel style. 12 volt, 3 amp, another one right here, 12 volt, 3 amp. This is where you push to turn on your DC. On your USB section right here, you have two USB 5 volt, 2.4 amps, two quick charge, 18 watt USB, and over here, the power delivery, 100 watt USB C. There's your power button right here to turn those on USB. You do have a light on this one. This is your power button. So, real simple front. You get to this side right here. You have one, two, three, four, five, six outlets, 120 volt. That's your AC button right here. So you push that, turn on your AC load. Backside, nothing right here. Get to this side. This is your charging side. 120 volt charging plug. No brick to mess with. You just plug it in right here. Everything is inside. Here's your Anderson plug for your solar, 500 watt. 12 volt to 48 volt at 15 amps and your reset overload protection right here okay let's turn it on let's do some testing let's see what it has another thing i like about this one is this case right here you have your ac charger your solar charging cable so your ac charging cable right here Anderson plug for the solar and one for the car charger. So you can plug this from the car. And everything is kept right here. You don't have to forget it. It's always with you in the top. Absolutely perfect. Turn it on. Okay, we got the inverter on. First thing we're gonna do is check this pure sine wave, okay? So I'm gonna get my oscilloscope. I'm going to plug it on the AC, one of the plugs on the side. The first thing you want to do is just turn on the AC power. Okay, you do have a pure sine wave coming out of this. There you go guys so i can verify that it is a pure sine wave okay guys for so this test we're going to take the Okitel and we're going to plug it into 2000 watts of lights i'm going to use this to uh very act to control the power so what we're going to try to prove is that this is a ups has a ups function so i want to get it to 1100 watts and see if it starts pulling from the battery all right let's get that coming to this side we connect our plug, AC. Okay, I have this plugged into AC. And you see right here, it says charge remaining five minutes. It's already at 100%. It's just going to top it off. It's pulling 187. It's going down. It comes with a sign come up that says supercharge. Okay, now let's turn on some loads and see what happens. I'll come over here, turn that on, and this is our light. Start putting a load on it. Okay, so we're pulling right at 381. You see, you have 500 coming in from the grid. Let's keep going. 800. Super bright light. Okay, so now we're at 1,196. See, we're starting to pull from the battery. So let's go down a little bit. Let's go down to 1,000. Okay. 
go down some more. Yeah, that's what you're not pulling from the battery. So the UPS function is up and running. As long as you stay below 1,100, you're good. But we're a little too high right there. This is where you want to be, 1,100. Right here. Okay. Now, let's disconnect the grid and see what happens. In three, two, one. Okay. My light did not even flash. That's awesome. It's not charging. It's using from the battery. It says it can pull 900 watts, almost 1,000 watts for right at two hours. Okay, guys, for this next test, you know I got to try it. I have to try a small AC. Okay, so this AC is 8,000 BTUs. All right, 740 watts. It's a surge we have to worry about. So let's see if we can power a small 8,000 watt BTU AC. Okay, so first we turn on our AC. We come to the side again. It plugged in real good. Okay, I heard AC bit. AC came on. I come right here. Push the power button. Okay, so it's pulling right about 105 watts right now. That's just the fan. Let's see if it will power the compressor. Let's lower this all the way down. Try to catch that surge when it comes on. There you go, guys. The compressor just kicked on. Surge was not as bad as I thought. So, three hours. You can run the 8,000 watt BTU AC for right at three hours. That should be enough to cool a room down. And I don't think it's going to run the straight three hours. So, if you have a small bedroom, you could probably get more than three hours out of this. AC is blowing cold. All right, nice cold air. And you can do that for about three hours. I say that's a plus. I have a battery right here, one of my old jump starter. I'm going to use the 12 volt, see if it will charge this and see how much I pull from it. OK, let's do that. Let's unplug the AC. Go up in a nice little compartment. There you go. All right, guys. So I got this like cigarette lighter type. Got it plugged into the battery and it starts charging. So on DC, it's pulling right at 100 watts, 95, 97. So 100 watts is where I think your max will be on DC. 34 minutes to get us up. So if you guys have any plans to plug in this into your car, DC charging, you see right here, expect to get 100 watts. Next thing we're going to do, remember 500 watts is our max on solar. Let's get some solar panel and plug this into solar, okay? Okay, guys, I wanted to bring this outside to kind of show the uh, solar charging abilities. We have it out here. I have the power output right here. 280 watts 44.3 volts 8 amps so that should be right at where this is it shows max of 12 volt to 48 volt 15 amps so let's plug this in i already have its solar charger all right so we plug it in right here you can see it shows the anderson plug is activated okay guys it's up and as you can see, it says 28 minutes to full charge. It's pulling 
199 watts. I can probably adjust it a little bit to get a better wattage, but I just want to show you guys that even with a large solar panel like this, it works perfectly fine. All right, so we should be full charged in about 26 minutes, getting 197, 198 watts. Remember, this can go all the way up to 500 watts. Okay, guys, we just did a quick review of the Okitel 2000 watt portable power station. I really like this power station. Some of the things I like about it, the storage box in the top, you have all your cords in there, and it has to charge the car charger and the solar charger in here. The big two handles, you can move this around with two people or by yourself. It's just around 48 pounds, not that heavy. Okay. All the outlets, especially if you're using this in like a, pop, a backup situation, you have six outlets to utilize. Turn it off right there. The two fans keeps it real cool and quiet. And that's the inlet right there. Another two fans on this side. But you have two fans on this side and two fans on this side, making sure it stays cool. You don't have to worry about a brick to charge it because... You just plug it in right here and your solar charger right here. Okay. So guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I have the links down in the description. If you want to get one of these, really recommend it. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment. Guys, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.